Hello, this video is for Excel homework 4.1 rent. I'm working on this one in this video. Um, you can see the, the first one under the submission link is the Google Slides link. If you want to use the Google Slides, um, instead of watching this video and going uh, doing this with me, it's available for you uh, under in Canvas. I did take screenshot of each step. Like what you will have to type in um, the formatting and the table, but I will ask you to try a couple steps here uh, by yourself. Like step number four, try it by yourself. And uh, but I did show um because the count if function is something new for us in this homework, so I did um type in exactly or took a screenshot of what you will need to type in. Um, and I'm gonna ask you to, I think, try step number six by yourself. Um, and there's a screenshot of the chart that you should get for step six. But if you would like to just um, use this because you feel comfortable with Excel, go ahead, you can close the video and use the Google Slides. But if you would like to go through this step by step with me, um, please continue watching, okay? Alrighty, let me go and download the Excel homework 4.1. I, I tried this last night and it worked out okay. So I already have eight out of eight, but I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one more time so that I can record. Okay, so let's download. Oh, Excel, it's jumping. Come on, come on. Oh, okay, so it's here. It's not that long, about like six things to do. So step number one, we're going to start Excel, uh, download and open the workbook name chapter four, six, rent, start. So, okay, so we did that. Um, okay, so I should read the project description. In this problem, you will calculate the monthly household incomes in 2016 for each U.S. state. You will also provide the result as a column chart. Okay, um, step two. This is where we start. In cell D7, calculate the monthly household income in the U.S. Fill cell D7 down the column to cell D59. Format cell C7 to D59 as currency with two decimal places. So let's go to D7 and find that median household income. Okay, D7. Right here. So D7 is where we want to calculate the median monthly household income for the United States. And given the fair market rent is $837, and what they are telling us over here is that um, the rent should be about 17% of household incomes. Um, so if I give you the median monthly household income, what you will do is you'll take this amount of money and multiply that by 17% and that's going to give you $837. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up as like an equation and do this with you, okay? So take a look. Oh, this is my little piece of paper for work. I will call because I don't know the median monthly household income. Let me call that X, okay? But what we are doing is we are finding 17% um, of that X amount of money so x times 17 percent and that equals what that equals 837 dollars so that's what we are given okay that's what we have um so if you want to solve for x take a look x is getting multiplied by 17 percent so in order to cancel out that multiplying what will you do to both sides you know you're gonna divide both sides by 17 percent so um our answer is going to be 837 divided by 17%. And um, because I'm going to use cell reference to type in my formula in Excel, um, let's give them the cell names. 837. 837 right here in my Excel is saved in or it's in cell B7. So type in B7 divided by... 17% is in C7, so C7, and that's my formula. X or median monthly household income for the United States is B7 divided by C7, okay? So I'm going to type that in, equal B7 
divided by C7 and I will hit enter. Okay, so what they are saying is the median monthly household income for the United States is $4,919.01. And just out of curiosity, if I find 17% of that, I better get $837, right? Look, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They just rounded this, right? They just rounded this um, to the nearest dollar amount, but that's the same thing. So that's correct. Um, they wanted us to format this as currency with two decimal places, and it looks like it's already a currency with two decimal places. So let me just fill this all the way down to D59. All the way down to Puerto Rico. Okay, we got it. So go back to instruction. I, I'm going to mark that I completed step two. Step three and four, uh, three and four kind of go together. So I'll just take care of those two together, okay? In step three, you're going to use the maximum function to determine the maximum monthly household income in G28. Um, and we will format that as the uh, currency with two decimal places. And step four, we're doing the same exact thing. And this is the one that I'm going to ask you to try on your own on the Google Slides. Um, in cell G29, determine the monthly minimum monthly household income. So it's really the same thing. We're just going to use the maximum function for step three and the minimum function for step four. All right. So where do we enter those? G28 and G29. Let's go there. G20. Ooh, that was a big table right there. But this is what I want. G28. I'm going to use the max function, M-A-X. Um, you're using this function this week because you're working on your first project. Um, and I'm going to ask you to find the maximum your homework grade or maximum Excel homework grade. But um, after, once the parenthesis is open, we're giving them the range. So notice how I'm uh, clicking or selecting all these numbers all the way down to Puerto Rico right here. And I'm going to let go. And let's see. So this is what you want. Max, D7 to D59, hit enter. You should get $6,355. $6,355. So that's formatted as currency with two decimal places. And for this one, let me use do the exact same thing, but just use a minimum function. Minimum. And I think the range was D7 to D59. I can just type it. Um, and hit enter, I should get $1,549.67. Just checking on the format, formatted as currency with two decimal places, looks perfect. So go back to instruction, I am done with step three and four. All right, step five is a new one, mm, the count if function. You used count function before, um, and count function use, um, what it does is it calculates the number of cells that meets or in the selected range or um, I guess I should say the ones with the inputs, the ones that are filled out. But this one, um, they're gonna find the number of cells that meets the condition that we give them, the, the criteria. Um, so let's read it. Cell G35 use a count if function, that's the name of the function, um, to calculate the number of cells with monthly household income less than $1,500, okay? So they're going to count, oh, how many of them were less than 1,500. But remember, the minimum was um, 1,549. So I know none of them are less than 1,500. So I, I better get zero because nothing was, the smallest number was 1,549. And I'm trying to find the number of cells that has a number that's 15, smaller than 1,500. So I know that it should give us zero. But we will uh, fill that cell down. Um, the column to cell G45 and change the criteria in each formula according to the value in column F. It sounds complicated, but it's not that bad. So let's go and try that one together. Go to G35 right here. Set it equal to, set or type in equal sign and type in count if. And I, don't, I never used count if S before, but I'm just going to use the one that I need. Count if, the one without S. And they said the range first. You know the range. Range is D7 to D59. And then the next part, you got to be careful. I'll put the com uh, comma, comma. And the criteria, remember, we want to find everything that is less than 1,500. So first time when I tried this, less than 
1500 and close parenthesis and hit enter, it didn't work. Okay, so look. Oh, it's not going to work. So what they want is they want apostrophe around. Apostrophe. I wonder if I can just type in regular apostrophe like this. And I'm going to hit enter. See, it didn't work. So uh, do type in, I, I don't know, I call it quotation mark. What do you call it? But this thingy, uh, I'm pressing shift. Oh, shift call, shift apostrophe. But this is what you want to enter. No, no, what are these called? I, I thought they were quotation mark. Maybe not. But this is what you want to type in. Um, I'm going to zoom in like crazy so that you can see. Um, count if, give them the range, put a comma. And for the criteria, give them this. Okay, um, less than 1500, but in the, 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 the little, you know, and then I'm going to hit enter. Now, what are we expecting to get? We better get zero. Yes, because there were nothing that was smaller than 1500. But listen, I am about to copy this all the way down. But here's the thing. If I fill this down, you know, the range will be shifted. What did you just do? Look, don't do this. Okay, I'm just going to do it and show you. You see? The range better stay as D9 or D7 to D59, but what it did was, um, I was using relative cell referencing. So if I do that, the range, notice how it, I want to see my blue, blue box for the range. Take a look, it went down to this blank area and that's not what I want. So this is where we got to use our dollar signs, okay? So I think this is the hardest part of our homework here um go back uh, to g35 and add some dollar signs notice I'm, I'm i'm gonna i want them to keep on using the same exact range so put a dollar sign in front of d dollar sign in front of seven dollar sign in front of d and dollar sign in front of, in front of 59 we're using absolute cell referencing all right that's what you want and hit enter all right copy this down or fill this down and what you will have to do is just change the criteria. So now the second one, I need the cutoff is 2,000. So change the 1,500 to 2,000. Whoopsies, I meant 2,000. And then change this 1,500 to 2,500. Change this to 3,000. This one should be 35,000, uh, 3,500. Um, this will be 4,000. This is 45. But you know what you're noticing is that they're not doing 4,500 to 5,000. They're just counting everything that is less than 5,000. So um, this is really cumulative. They just keep on adding. And the next step, we will need to subtract uh, the one that we have minus the previous one to find how many were actually just in between 6,000 to 6,500, something like that. So uh, that's it. That's it for um, step number five. I just really, I I'm trying to go fast so that I can finish this video in 15 minutes, but I hope that happens. All right, let me keep going. Step six, um, we are going to find the frequency for range 1,500 to 2,000, and we're going to fill that cell down. Now, um, in this cell right here, I36, uh, do type in or um, do type in equal sign G36 minus G35. So we want to know how much is increasing. So and for this one, we want the cells to shift down as uh, we want to use uh, relative cell referencing. For for example, this one right here, this 18 should be from doing 33 minus 15. So if I double click, yes, that's it. Now, this cell right here, the 6 should be from 53 minus 47. And that's what they're, they're doing. So that was it for this step. So notice I just did G36 minus G35 and just fill that cell down. No reference, uh, no dollar signs or anything. Now, the last step is for me to insert a clustered clump, uh, column chart. And um, the title should just be uh, this. All right, let's see. Guys, if I don't finish this in 30 seconds... Try this by yourself, okay? But okay, select range H36 to I45. H36 to I45. Select that much. And then go ahead and go to insert. Recommended charts. Cluster column right there. Boom. And then let's go ahead and drag this down to this blue area. Make it a little bigger. Oh, that's a little too long. 
change the title to